welcome back to Planet Crafter. I want to jump on real quick because we are getting ready to cross over into the moss stage. Coming out of the lake stage, we got just a couple percent left before we hit it. I did set up a couple. I didn't show this happening because I had recorded it, putting up the tier 4 uh, drills least this one, but my voice was way too low. I don't know why I was talking so soft. Not sure what time of day, I can't remember what time of day I was recording it. But I don't want to miss the, the changing of the stages, especially now see what we're going to be coming into. And I think when we hit pressure 63, we get to unlock something else too. Not, I think it's a tier 4 heater, I think. We'll find out in a little bit here. It's almost there. It's like I don't want to turn away, because the second we do, it's, it's kind of like when you're driving your car and you want to watch it hit the 100,000. And you look away for half a second, and all of a sudden it's 100. Two. <laughs> 100 thousand point five or something like that and you're like no I want to watch it <laughs> it's going up pretty quick we're just about at 200 percent for the terraformation or 200 um, MTI I'm not sure exactly what the what that is if it's not a percentage I doubt here we're coming Five, four, three, two, one, back. Next stage, Flora. So we are in the moss stage now. I'm not sure exactly. Greenery. Okay. So now things are probably going to be greening up a little bit quicker. Let's run outside real quick. You can see the ground is pretty green. Let oh, here. We can go do this. We've got the map. There's big chunks of green in some of these areas and kind of around where we're at and inside of these caverns. Fortunately, I'm not sure if we sent up another GPS. Let me know down in the comments if you've sent up more than one GPS um, rocket and if it makes any difference. Would it expand our view or is it just, is it just kind of pointless? Let's go look at that rocket once and see what um, it says if it does any other benefits other than just doing the GPS. Let's see, GPS, it says, provides better geolocation to the map screen. So, I, yeah, I don't know if it, um, if it's going to add more if I would send two or not. Uh, I did just send up uh, one of these rockets that so it would bring in the uranium because I was running real short. I also set up a second um, dome, biodome. And we've got all of our storage cases lining around the crafting station and our bio lab here. I did make a bunch of fertilizer, which I've used a few of them making up rockets. I have not gathered from the second one yet. Let's go run over here and see. Yep. We want to make sure we, I always forget to do that. Make sure we empty these because if they are got stuff in them, they're not making more. So as long as you got them empty, they're producing. And I'm out of room in that, so let's... We'll just put it here in the LG one. I've got that pretty full now too. Um, I do have, I've been getting a lot of minerals from these two extractors. Plus I've set up another uh, uranium power source there, a nuclear power source. Let's run up, take a look down at the, the settlement there got as you can see over there we've got a lot of algae growing we've got power generation we've got drills I've got two of the tier four drills and off in the distance you can see I've got 
the markers for the different uh, drill platforms I have these two are drill pot this one does sulfur this one does that red mineral this one is that other cave off in the distance down in that cavern and this one does aluminum this is one of my most important ones because aluminum is not a really not an easy one to find so this one you know, here let's make sure we've got some water on us because I'm gonna be needing it soon yep we can also just grab out of here let's fly over here and see what we have for resources in this drill plus you want to make sure you empty it oh here we got a couple more uranium I thought I had picked all this up but once the primary rocks disappear then you're able to see a little better grab it all. That way it's not filled up with a bunch of minerals that we don't need. Oh, there's more aluminum around in here too. I thought I had, I had a, actually went through and gathered everything up through here. It must be spawning new in. I was trying to find different directions to, to fly in. make sure we don't miss something. We're starting to get a little bit of green up in here too. Oh yeah, there's that. It's like a space station ring of some kind. It is underwater now. I'm not sure what Let's see what's underwater here. I'm pretty sure I've already hit this up when there was no water here, but I will check again. Let's see what's in here. Oh yeah, we've been in here for sure. Do have an air on me I think yes I do yeah we'll use it I'm not sure what's more over this way could just be a, another dead zone as you can see there's really no minerals or anything over this way so I'm not sure how much farther the map goes in that direction what we'll do is we'll head down to that cave again there is a field on the other side when you go through the cave and come out on the other side of it. The field over there was getting some pretty good minerals and stuff like that dropped in from asteroids and stuff. What is that? Oh, that's one of mine. <laughs> that's good. We'll go down and see what I can't remember what I put in here. Okay. Oh, we can make another oxygen. Good. Sounds good. Just in case. A tier two jetpack. Or th is it two or three? Tier 3, yeah, the Tier 3 is uh, really nice to have. Oh yeah, I still have all this stuff in here. 300%. We don't really need any more sulfur. I'm getting a lot of sulfur from that other cave. Oh, that's a 400%. We definitely want that. We'll trade up one of those 300 percenters for it. Yeah, see this, this cave here 
had a lot of that blue mineral in it. And if you come through this way, we're going to come out onto a pretty open field of sand dunes. And not much left right now because I picked up pretty much all the good stuff. But if you are looking for some good, a good place, there was a lot of aluminum dropping out of the sky from that. I do have another place past that ship, way over that way. I had taken a long trip over there and I did not find anything, so uh, there wasn't really even much in the way of minerals on the ground, just basic stuff. A few cases that didn't really have too much in them. You know, it'd be for basically if you're out of stuff to do, it'd be a good place to kind of just head off to check out. and there's like no oxygen or no light in here I did have to make some super alloy I burnt through what I had that's good we have a lot of rain this is the mineral that is super hard to find I've gathered it from all the caves and it's not seem to be coming back. Uh, let's see, where do we want to put this? We can put it in the fertilizer one, the fabric, because it's not really something that we use all that often, like ever. <laughs> so, okay, well, I think we're gonna let off right there. Should be getting some stuff unlocking pretty soon. Base is looking pretty good. Let's go look at our unlock screen one last time before we end this episode. See what uh, coming up next. Tier four. This is the tier, f the heater. Yeah, we're at 50, 59, and we need 63 to set up the tier four heater. So. That'll probably be in our next episode, setting that up. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope to talk to you in the comments.